Hello everybody, welcome back to series number two in this COVID-19 Get Fit for Golf at Home campaign. Today's episode is all about the hip mobility, how to increase your hip mobility. So if you want to loosen up the hips, want to improve your golf swing, you improve your turn, both backswing and through swing, stay tuned, watch this video, I've got four great exercises that really will help loosen up your hips. So the first exercise in our hip mobility, to get things going, we're going to get the hips loose. So I've got just a nice, gentle hip mobility to really get them fired up, loose, and ready for exercises two, three, and four, where we're going to actually try and increase the rotation. So firstly, sitting down on the floor, I want you to pull your feet in towards your groin. Press your elbows out on your knees, get your hands on your feet, and just pull them in towards you so your toes are off the floor. Now just nice, just get, this, get things going. Gently rock forwards and backwards on your bum, on your heels, keeping your elbows pushed down in towards your knees. Do that for 10 seconds. Once you've gone that for 10 seconds, you're gonna go side to side for 10 seconds. Once you've done this routine now, now we're gonna to start to make some circles. This is really gonna help stretch out the hips while you get them moving around. You've done that one, that's round one. Round two, they should be a little bit looser now. Pull your feet in towards your groin a little bit more. Hook your hands under, elbows on your knees. Same routine, side to side, 10 seconds. Forwards and backwards, 10 seconds. And round in circles. Exercise number two is the hip windshield wipers. For this, you're gonna lie down on your back and you need a cushion. Place the cushion in between your knees, lift your feet up off the floor at 90 degrees. With the feet off the floor, push the knees in together, squeeze the cushion, and now you're gonna try and move your feet away from each other. So let me show you. Cushion in between your knees, push, and now you're gonna move your feet away from each other. Give that one a try and for 12 repetitions. Exercise number three, one of my personal favorites, the stalk drill. For this, you just need a golf club. Now this is great, this is really gonna test your internal hip rotation and also your balance. Start off, butter the club on the floor, place your hands on top of the club head. Use this for your balance aid. From here, you're gonna push down on the club, left foot goes behind the right knee. You're gonna turn and rotate across the front of your body. Notice while I'll do this exercise that my upper body isn't not moving. I'm trying to keep forward facing, so I'm facing the camera here. That's level one. Level two, if you're okay with that, now really test yourself. Put your arms across your shoulders, get into that same position, and again, this is a real balance tester, but again, it's really testing your ability to be able to disassociate. Can you rotate the lower half while not rotating the upper half? So, into here, left foot behind the right knee, Turn across the front of your body. Guys, give that a go on both sides for 10 to 12 repetitions. Exercise number four is the classic hip twisters. For this, you need a golf club. Put the club down, butter the club down on the floor. Your hands are gonna go on the club head. Get yourself in golf posture. Press down a little bit on the, uh, on the club head because what you don't want here is we don't want any shoulder movement. We're trying to get the lower half rotating while keeping the upper body nice and still and stable. From here, let me just show you this angle. Golf posture, press down on the club, hip twisters. Guys, give this exercise a go, 30 seconds to really improve your hip turn. 